There are three ways to format strings in Python. Each of them has its pros and cons. In this video, you will learn how to use them to format strings in Python effectively. Hi, my name is Adam and this is the Fakimbo, the place where we teach how to build IT career smart way so you can live the life you want. And by the way, if you want to become the highest paid software developer, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any of IT career advice videos that we will post on this channel. Ok, let's get back to our topic. Often you may find yourself using the same string multiple times but replacing only single parts of it. This is where string formatting comes handy. String formatting is a technique to create a template of the string with placeholders. For example, we may have a string template that looks like this. We have two placeholders here that we want to replace with some text depending on context. We can use this string template to create new strings rather than recreating it every single time we need it. It can make our application eat less memory and it makes coding a bit easier. There are three ways to format strings in Python and it's important to know all of them because all of them are commonly used. The most simple and popular method to format strings in Python, because most of Python code base use it, is the method with percentage operator. If we use this method on our string, it may look like this. Here we'll put placeholder with percentage and s and here we will do the same we we'll put percentage sign here and here we'll provide parameterization so hello let's put alice here and today is monday and let's print it to see what we'll get and when we run it you see that these two placeholders were replaced with values we can reuse the same string template with different parameters and they will replace placeholders with any strings we like. We can also use percentage %d parameter here, which means that the provided parameter here will be of type integer. Or we can use percentage %f, which means the provided parameter will be of type float. For example, we can make this string look like this. Hello, today is and you are years old and let's put some integer here well, for example 20 okay and let's run it and as you see this parameter was replaced by this value here if our string has only one parameter, we can skip the parentheses. So let's remove this part of our string. This here, and we will leave just hello and the name. So I will remove all of the parameters other than Alice, and let's run it. And as you see, it was properly parameterized. This way of string formatting is handy when the formatted string doesn't have many parameters and replacement values are basic. It's less useful when we have m many parameters and provided values are in more complex type. So there are two more ways to handle more sophisticated scenarios. The more advanced method to parameterize string templates is format method. Let's convert our previous example to this method. So we'll have something like this. We'll replace this placeholder with curly brace this one as well and this and these values are okay we'll call format method here and this will be parameters okay looks fine let's run it and as you see now it parameterize all of the placeholders properly this method of string formatting is using curly brace as a placeholder. We don't have to specify the type of placeholder like we did with percentage operator. We can just leave empty placeholder. 
sometimes we may want to reuse the same parameters in multiple placeholders. In that scenario, it's handy to add indexes or even names to placeholders. So we have this string here with three placeholders and we use Alice value twice. What we can do, we can remove the second occurrence of Alice value and add indexes to placeholders. So this will be index zero, this will be index one, and this will be index zero as well. And let's run it and see what we'll get. And as you see, we reuse the same place, the same parameter multiple times by using indexes. We can do the same with named parameters like this. We'll name it name and this will be day. Instead of index, we will put name here. Today is day and here will be name as well. And let's run it now. And as you see, the values was the placeholders were replaced once again. Sometimes we may have a dictionary with values that we want to use to parameterize our string template. So let's do this in our example. So we have this template here, which is fine. All parameters have names and parameters to format. Let's remove this and replace it with dictionary. And this dictionary has to be defined somewhere. So let's do this dictionary. And I will put key here, name with the value Alice and another item, which will be day with the value Monday. Monday, Monday. Okay, that looks fine. Let's run it and see what we'll get. So as you see, the string was parameterized correctly. So I introduced a couple new things here. So we have this dictionary with two asterisks, which are important. We'll talk about this more in a module related to function parameterization later during this course. And we have dictionary here, which is another complex data type that we'll be talking more in another video related to dictionaries. There is one more way to format strings in Python. And this method was recently added to Python, but it's already preferred way for many developers because it's very minimal, but powerful at the same time. It's called fstrings or formatted string literals. To convert our string template to fstring, we will put f on front to the string. And as you see, it is already recognized by Visual Studio Code as a f string. This, these parameters are highlighted when I put f here. And I will remove format method. It's not needed anymore. And there is a couple errors here, which are related to the fact that these parameters requires values. Actually, they require variables defined in this specific namespace, the context. So we have to define them. And we do this by just creating variables. So the variable name will have Alice string inside and the day will be Monday. And these errors are already gone, as we can see. And let's run it now. And we have parameterized the string template. So these are three ways how we format strings in Python. You may think that, okay, the first method is really crappy. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't use it ever. I don't have to learn it. The second one is a bit better, but still sucks comparing to the third one. And yes, I, I totally get it. And I have similar feelings, but the life isn't that simple. And sometimes we will be forced to work with some frameworks or projects that have dependency of spe to specific Python version. So if in the worst scenario, we will be forced to work with Python the second, the string formatting with F strings wouldn't be available at all. So we'll be using only the first option and even the method of uh, the method with format uh, method format wouldn't be available as well. So we will 
really be using only the first way of formatting string so we have to know it very very well and know all of them to perform well on daily basis there is no silver bullet and we will find during our career different code bases with different solutions in there some of them will be using f strings some of them will be using formats some will use percentage formatting all of them are fine and there is a space for all of them even the first option the formatting string with the percentage it works really really well when the parameters are really simple type and by the way if you like this video please leave it a like so more people can find it if you have any questions leave the comment below and if you want to give me any feedback leave the comment as well so further videos can be even better if you want to learn python fast check out my complete free python developer crash course on this channel the ideal next step for you is to learn list and tuples the complex data types in python just follow the links on the screen thanks for watching and see you in the next one